you could be walking through a valley high up in the Caucasus Mountains. You could be walking down creaky old streets in Tbilisi, Georgia. You could be watching fantastic traditional dancers and shadow puppeteers and seeing art and culture and meeting Georgians. A gathering in Georgia. We're going to devote our energies to sports and gardening, all the cultural pursuits as far as they're concerned. In fact, we're going to put the dooms to sleep. Meanwhile, we dig. Greetings and welcome to The Anadromist. This is Burn Power coming to you in Tbilisi, Georgia. And if you want to know where Georgia actually is, this is the video for you. Because uh, a little over a month ago, I put out a video called A Gathering in Georgia. You might remember it. And in that video, I mentioned that one of the things I was really wanting to do this year was to invite people to Georgia in order to have uh, a gathering in Georgia, which is the name of this event. I'm looking at this as a cultural exploration and a dialogue about uh, the possible roads into the future beyond the dead ends of modernism, postmodernism, and tribalism. In other words, a way to, f to restore something of, if not the glory of Western civilization, because that would be kind of a fatuous thing to say, um, the meaning of many of the best aspects of Western civilization, which are being overturned both by our technological addictions, our tribalistic uh, concussions, and our uh, just general... <laughs> the general tenor of the hollowness of the times. Now, I had mentioned before that there's room for 12 or 13 people in this small gathering, obviously given the distance from many other places. Right now, we've got about eight people. There's a couple people hanging on the edge trying to decide their finances and their time. So there has been enough interest for this meeting to take place. And this is the official call for a commitment and to register. So listen closely. If you want more information, go back and watch the first video, which came out a little over a month ago. What will this event be? Just to remind you, 10 days in Georgia. Attendees will arrive early in the morning, because that's when the planes coming from the West arrive to the Tbilisi airport on the 29th of September. Half the time will be spent in the capital, Tbilisi. We will be visiting traditional dancers, shadow puppeteers, probably other puppeteers and other kinds of dancers and music, art and cultural museums. There's much I don't know. There are things I can count on from this point, but there's much I don't know yet because we're on the other side of uh, the year. <laughs> you know, we're still... That's That's... Uh, October is quite a ways off. But we will also certainly be spending time at a Georgian Orthodox church, listening to the music, and you may stay and participate if you wish. The other half of our time will be spent in the little village of Snow, S-N-O, uh, up in the uh, greater Caucasus Mountains. We will be visiting sites in the mountains we will be doing walking, not particularly strenuous hiking or anything like that. But, I mean, although there are some possibilities for people to do a bit more strenuous hiking, um, we will be talking a lot together in our walks. And also we'll have time alone as well. And we'll be cooking together, which I find a great way to weld people into a group who is focused on something. And, of course, what we're focused on is trying to find uh, roads out of the dilemmas of the present. Obviously, personal roads. These aren't going to be major. I'm not trying to start a movement as much as I am just trying to get people thinking about what they can do in the world they live in. 
the country, the place, the, the people they know. Please be aware that this will be up at an elevation of around 7,000 feet, over 2,000 meters, and some people might be affected by the altitude. If you're one such person, uh, let's talk about it and uh, get in touch with me. All during the uh, time of the gathering, there will be a couple of days and times for free exploration, at least one whole day in Tbilisi and uh, probably an afternoon or so up in the mountains. The costs, what are they going to be? Well, here are the official figures now. It's going to be $1,400, $1, which is similar to euros, if you're thinking that way. Um, and it will cover most of your cost. What will it cover? Well, you will pay for airfare. But I can guide you as to which flights you might consider that will save you the most money. Cost covered will include lodging, two meals a day, museum admissions and any other admissions that might come up, city transportation costs, as well as a rented van into the mountains. So, here's the big question. Should you come? And the first big question is, should you? Is this something you really feel you should do? Because that's what I want. Part of the reason for doing it so far away is that if you make something easy, all sorts of people will show up and will, because it's easy, they will, they will express a kind of enthusiasm. If you make it a bit harder, like coming to a place most people don't know, like Georgia, you weed out the people who are just onlookers and you get the people who really want to participate. And that is what I'm looking for, obviously. So if you're interested in dialogue, in visiting a place that's both foreign and familiar, and if you want to think together with us about finding personal ways to revive the culture, a culture that is dying, quite frankly, and it's being killed off by everything happening on, on the internet, and yet that's not satisfying us. Um, but I'm not talking about a simplistic return to the past or anything like that. This is not, let's go back to the past. This is, let's make a future that acknowledges, obviously, technology. But let's find ways of, of bringing the material and the physical back into the equation, including the physical meeting of each other. Do you want to see things differently than you do now? And I can guarantee you, if you come to Georgia, if you've never been here before, you will be seeing things differently by the time you've left, just simply as, as a result of rubbing up against this culture, which I find fascinating. Do you want to get your spiritual, cultural, philosophical, educational, creative batteries going again? Well, think about it. Get, get your batteries recharged by coming to Georgia. And I think that is one of the effects this will have for the person who's coming in the right spirit, obviously. So, a few questions. Will you be able to communicate with the Georgians? Yes. Now, I have another video that I just made on my Georgian Crossroads channel, and I'm going to put it at the very end of this, a link to it at the very end of this video, and it's called Survival Georgian. And this will give you basic words you can use practically when you're visiting. Uh, but... Most of the younger people speak some English, and most of the older people speak Russian. And I've, you know, I've been in Tbilisi, uh, it's like four and a half years now, and I've never really had, I mean, now and then it gets comical, but I've never had any bad problems communicating here. The Georgians are quite open most of the time to communication. Is Georgia safe? Absolutely. Uh, I have a friend who's, uh, Petite female who can walk through the streets at 2 o'clock in the morning through the darkest unlit areas and feel absolutely safe. So I wouldn't worry about that. Now, there are practical concerns. You don't want to walk the wrong way in traffic, although actually you can. <laughs> uh, uh, is Russia a problem? Eh, no. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, not at the moment, anyway. And uh, we have, in fact, inherited uh, maybe over a 100,000 Russians since the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war. And you will be meeting some of them. So <laughs> there you are, another reason to come. And uh, I find that very interesting. I had six Russian puppeteers over at my house uh, this last Sunday. 
Will you be able to find food? Well, yes, lots of food. Uh, will you be able to find the food you would like to snack on or something? Yeah, close enough. Uh, medicine. Yes, there's all pharmacies all over the place. And here's the interesting news. Uh, if you know the name of the medicine, you don't need a prescription to get it. And it's much cheaper than America. Uh, can you find books in English about uh, things you you see here? Yes, for the most part, yes. And there, we, I will show you where a few good English-speaking bookstores are, and especially the ones that will have uh, Georgian or Caucasian content. And I recommend that you get uh, travel insurance uh, before you come, if that's something that is a concern to you. Should you do a lot of traveling before and after you come here? Well, that's up to you. But generally, I would say not particularly, unless you're already planning on something like that. And that is to say, don't come here and then spend three months in, in Europe traveling around. Why? This is going to be a full meal of traveling, of cultural discussions. You don't want to water it down by getting yourself completely tired of traveling. Certainly not before you come here. You want you want to come fresh, and uh, but it's up to you. You know your own limitations. Some people, it's like if they see too many museums or churches or whatever, they're it just af after a while they all blend together. And um, this is a special event. This is not uh, simply travel. And what are the average air costs right now? The average air cost from America depends on which side of the country you're on or in the middle. You can probably find something to, I haven't done the actual research right now, but you can probably come, you can probably find something to Europe for somewhere between $1,200 and $1,000, maybe cheaper if you're on the East Coast, uh, maybe maybe much cheaper. So look into that and, and see what you can do. Uh, there are cities to arrive in which are better than others. I wouldn't recommend ar arriving in London, but Paris, Amsterdam, Rome, all have very good uh, connections onward to Tbilisi. So do Istanbul, if, but that would be kind of crazy to fly all the way to Istanbul. But having said that, a round-trip ticket from Tbilisi to uh, one of these cities will be around $300. So that's something to factor in. So we have room for 12, 13 people is what I'm figuring. Um, and, and you will be meeting Georgians when you're here. They're excited to meet you. I've told Georgians here, I say, yeah, 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 can I come meet these people? They, they just sound interesting, like they're interested in talking. And Georgians are interested in talking, so come. Um, but so far we have about eight people who signed up. A couple of them are sitting on the fence, but are, are leaning into uh, coming. But, you know, people have to weigh and measure things. Uh, this is a big decision. So... Let's try to get a full group by June 1st. So you go back right now, think about this. Should I come there? And if you have the time, if you have the inclination, if you have the funds, please come. There is room for four or five, maybe more to come. So get in touch with me at Reckoning Motions. At, you'll see the, uh, the email here. And that is the best place to get in touch with me. Uh, don't do it in the comment section. Don't do it on Facebook. Don't do it on Twitter. Do it through Reckoning Motions. That is the best place. Um, that's it. Uh, really think about this. And um, 1400 for 10 days, that is not much considering what you're going to be getting. And I hope you consider it and it would be really great to meet some of you. I'm already looking forward to some of the people who are coming and, and I have interacted with them. But even if I haven't interacted with you, think about coming. This could really give you a different perspective. So, as the Georgians say, drobit, which means temporarily, and we will meet again, and kagar ik ali, which means be well. A people without history is not redeemed from time. For history is a pattern of timeless moments.